Now, before you submit your final version of your thesis, you're going to need to go through your document and make sure that all the citations in text are actually referenced in your list of references at the end. And all the sources that appear in your reference list are actually cited in your text somewhere. You can't have citations, sorry, you can't have sources in your reference list if you do not use them within your document. You, that's that's not permitted. So what you're going to need to do is go through and check and make sure that none have actually crept in. I'm going to show you how to do this, or the best way to do this. Now, there are some errors in this document. I've deliberately um, left them in. It's like, here's a citation here, which I haven't put in. And then I can just copy and paste from that document. Now, we know we've put all these fields in. But one of the problems is, where are they? What's a field and what's not a field? Now, if I come across to File, then I come across to Options. And you won't see it in Display. I mean, for me, it's crazy. You they might as well put it in there. But you have to click on Advanced. And when you scroll down, under Show Document Content, You'll see field shading. Now you'll see never, always, or when selected. Now for your check, I would switch this to always. So when you turn it on in your document, that's what happens. So now when I flick through, even when I, if you remember when we put in the cross references, even the cross references will show there's figure one. And now you can see where all your references are. Now, now you can see that I've missed one here, Pharrell and Pushkas. If I click on Manage Sources, it's showing me that it's not cited in text. Now, so that's one way, or well, that's one way we can do it by turning on these field codes. And it's a, that's a very, very visual method. But of course, As I say, if, if I'm looking through here, through my references, and I need to check whether they're in the document, then I'm going up and down and up and down and up and down. And that's going to be pretty slow. And if you've, as I say, with Duang Tao's research, I think she had 27 pages worth of references. Now, that's going to take a long time. But as we've already seen, if I click on Manage Sources, Word already tells me what's cited in text. Now, I've never, ever known this to go wrong. Never. So, I can see I have Simpson J. Now, Simpson J is recovery from stroke. Now, I can search for Simpson J, or I can click on Edda, and I can just recovery from stroke. So then, recovery from stroke is telling me there's one result. So, I know that's not going to be cited in text. But now I can select Simpson J. And now I have to find Simpson. And there's three results for Simpson. So what I've done is I've gone from recovery from stroke, then to Simpson J to the author's name. And now I've got three results. Now one of those is already highlighted, so I need to scroll up. So this, this is what we've got. Jackson has cited in Simpson. Now we have cited it in text. So we know that one's good. So I can get, get my, my little bit of paper and I put a tick against Simpson. Now I know all of these are, are in text. Because it's telling me Pharrell Pushkas. So I can close. I can search for Pharrell. There's the link. So I now need to insert Pharrell and Pushkas 2005, and it needs to be page three. So I click and I do page three. Perfect. And then I can get rid of that. Now I come back up to Manage Sources and there will be a tick against Pharrell and Pushkas. So I'll start at the bottom again and then I work my way up and I'll have to look for Chard DJ. So I'll just search for Chard. There's Chard at the air, Chard at the end and I can, it says there's two results so I know there's one elsewhere in the document as cited in Chard and Dixon. So I know that one's there also. And then the consort group. So I'm going to click on 
edit and then get the, the title of the web page, the consort statement, one result. So let me get rid of the, nothing, get rid of statement. So now we have consort, the consort group 2012. Is that the correct one? The consort group, the consort statement 2012. Yes, it is. So, and then of course, when I go back to manage sources, we have the tick. And then I think this is the last one. Yep. Simpson was there, Chard was there, and now the Internet Stroke Center. We have three results. Two of them are here. So the third one must be in the document somewhere. And there it is. WHO 2002 are cited in the Internet Stroke Center. Now, I've just been through and I've verified that all the citations that are in my list, in my current list, as shown in my reference, are all here. Because there aren't any manual ones, because they're all being managed by Word. And I know three of them are actually not inserted as in-text references using Word system, because Word won't allow for that kind of reference. But other than that, I know it's 100%. And how, how long did that take? Minutes. And that's how good this feature is, and that's why you should be using it. Thanks for watching.